Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I thought I'd show you my favourite beauty items from 2022. So let's get cracking. Hiya, how y'all doing? Um, I've not been so well, <laughs> goodness me. I seem to be always poorly. I went back to work, I would have worked two days and got norovirus. So yesterday, um, I were in bed or in the bathroom for the majority of the day. Um, and today I couldn't go back because I'm filming this on Thursday because you've got to give it um, a period of time after your last sort of vomiting um experience before you can go back so for all i'm feeling fine today i couldn't go into work so i'm slightly mad about it because um obviously that means i'm not going to get such a good wage this month you know what i mean right and every hour counts for me every hour counts so anyway while i'm off i thought i'd film a couple of videos so i can keep at least uploading to my channel um, and so I was sort of getting ready. Well, I say getting ready. I've slapped on just the smallest amount of makeup today um, in order to be at a film because I'm still not 100%. But anyway, it is what it is. It's just part of working in childcare, I think, you know. Um, so, yeah. So while I was looking through my things, I thought, oh, I haven't actually talked about my favourite items um, that I've been using this year. So I thought, I'll let you know what my favourite items are. You know, um, I'm not convinced that all of them were sort of brought out in 2022, but they're certainly my favourites of 2022. Things that I haven't tried before or things that I have tried, but I'm still going back to time and time again. So I've got a whole array here, right? Um, and I'm going to show you them. Let me put my gigs on. At least that'll cover part of my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know I look shocking again, but it is what it is, you know. So I've got, like I say, I've got a whole arrangement of things that I've sort of picked out to be able to show you. Um, some are sort of cleansing things, some are moisturising things, some are makeup. Um, and yeah, so I haven't got every category covered. Um, because in all honesty, there's one or two bits, I'll tell you as I come to them. That I haven't found any that I really like this year. You know, I haven't. And my hair looks a bit bad because yesterday, on yesterday, that's right, last night, having stopped sort of being quite so ill, um, I got in the shower just because I felt absolutely grimy um, from sort of being sick all day. So, and I washed my hair, but I just didn't have it in me to blow dry it or straighten it. Now, my hair, when I don't blow dry it or straighten it, is like this. It's super curly slash frizzy. So I've tried to straighten it, but without sort of wetting it all down again, it's going to be sort of slightly fly away and uh, sort of in no particular shape. But it's the best I could do, given how we're feeling. So, right, I'm going to go through these items. I'm dead excited. Okay, so the one that's popping up first... I tried this for the first time this year. It's the Rituals, Ritual of Jing Foaming Shower Gel. That's right. This is my new tin. I've worked my way through. I've got the tiniest, weeniest bit left in my last tin. And I absolutely love it. I really love it. I got both of them in my jammer box. I've got a new jam box video coming up as well. Um, so, yeah, look out for that one. But anyway, right, yeah. I've got, um, I'm not sure what order these videos are going up though. So you might have already seen it. You might not. But anyway, this is from my last one. And I got one in the one before. Absolutely love this stuff. It doesn't irritate my skin. A little bit goes a massively long way. You just have to squirt out the tiniest bit in the palm of your hand. And it foams. So you can get a proper wash with it. And it smells lovely. Absolutely love it. Wherever possible, I will be buying this again in the future. You know, this is my preferred one. I have to say at the moment, I have got a mountain of shower gels and things. So I'll probably have to get through those first. But when I do need another one, this is the one I'm going to go for. Because I just love it so much. Yeah, 
and I've just tried it this year for the first time. I also love the reed diffusers from Rituals, absolutely love those. Um, but that's not something I'm going to rush out and buy. This definitely is something that I will definitely spend my money on, you know, in the future. Throw it on my bed. So that's number one. Number two um, is my face wash of choice, which is, as always, this Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Now, I unboxed the Liz Earl Beauty Advent Calendar, and this one were in it. But um, I also got the, in the last day, I got the big, bottle of cleanse and glow that irritates my skin so much shocking my skin feels itchy as anything i've only used it twice and then suddenly realized while i was filming the other day what it was that was causing my skin to feel like i was constantly scratching it and it's the cleanse and glow so i'm going to give that maybe to one of my daughters see whether they can get on with it because it might just be my skin you know um, but and I will carry on with this one. It's very pricey, and everybody's told me to try the Aldi one or Super Drug. I think people have told me to try these, which I'm gonna try at some point in the future. I sort of had an idea that I'd do Aldi dupes at some point in the future, um, and I will check it out. But at the moment, I'm just glad to have one that isn't making my skin feel like it's on fire. And I'm not spending the day scratching my face, you know. I touch my face a lot anyway. Um, but when your skin's itchy on your face, it's just awful. So this is my preferred cleanser. Absolutely love it. You know, I'd rather have my cellar water than the cleanse and glow. Um, because my cellar water at least doesn't bother my skin. So, yeah, so that's my favourite cleanser. And then, um, shampoo. Okay and hair products okie dokie so this is my favorite hair conditioning treatment which is the philip kingsley elasticizer but in my in one box that i've unboxed i think it might have been the marks and spencer's beauty advent calendar i also got these um this is nearly empty this has still got a bit more in it um but these are the weightless shampoo and bodybuilding it says and weightless conditioner it says volumizes and lifts fine hair yeah and then it's sort of in french underneath i think i absolutely love these right really love them i, I would definitely buy these again particularly the shampoo the shampoo is quite watery when you squeeze it out right that would be would have been one of my criticisms of it but you only need a small amount of it. I mean, I've washed my hair five times with this so far and it's still got some in it and there's only like 60 mils. So it goes a long way, you know, it really does. Makes my hair feel super clean. I don't even know if it's got sulfates in it because I don't normally like sulfate shampoo. It has in fact got sulfates in it, but I still absolutely love it, you know. It doesn't feel like it coats my hair, although my hair it looks shocking, like I say, from just leaving it to dry on its own. But I absolutely love this. Love both of those. So in future, if I can get a set with these and the elasticizer in, I'm going to go for those because I just liked them so much. Don't put those on the end of my bed because I'm into them. So I'm just going to have to balance them there. Okay. And while I'm on the subject, if you've tried some brilliant products from this year can you please let me know because um yeah i'm very interested to know what other people rate i would much prefer to try something that other people have tried and thought were great than to just go out randomly buying stuff for myself so if you've got some favorites please leave us a comment um because i'm i'm very happy to give some new stuff a try going forward right next up moisturizers and things now, this is a super expensive one. So far, most of these things I'm showing you, if you went out and bought them, are quite expensive. But I didn't pay the price for this, right? Because I got it in one of my beauty subscription boxes when I were getting them. And I would recommend getting beauty subscription boxes if you're really into skincare, because you do get some great bargains. You also get some tat. I'm not gonna lie about it, but I've had a couple of really nice bits. And this is my favourite moisturiser by far. It is super expensive to buy though. Um, it's the Avant Hyaluronic Marissaqua. 
jojoba oil, lectin, avocado. It comes out blue, right? It's blue when you squeeze it out. Let me squeeze a bit out. Can you see? It's actually a light blue colour, but it goes in beautifully. It leaves your skin feeling grey. I absolutely love it. This is not something I will ever go out and pay full price for. But what I might do when I'm running out of moisturisers, because I've got quite a lot of moisturisers as well at the moment, um, is have a look, see whether one of the beauty subscription boxes have got it in when they do the sneak peeks and things. Because if they have, I would consider re-subbing for a short period of time just to get another tube of this. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's only 50 mils, but I've used it and used it and there's still loads left in it, you know. But... Another one that I've got that I absolutely love, but I put this on on a night time because it's called sleeping cream, is this Lumen, Lumine Overnight Bright Cream. I absolutely love this. It's like a, a buttery sort of consistency. It's in like this lovely yellow colour. It feels great, goes in great, and I absolutely love it. I've got no idea how much this costs. None at all, because this is another one I got in a beauty subscription box. Or did I get it in my Jama box? I might have got it in my Jama box, which is a beauty subscription box, but you get a set of pyjamas with it. Would I highly recommend that box, by the way? I think I might do my top 10 boxes and boxes I avoid and things at some point. But anyway, at the moment, this... And um, I absolutely love it. It's 50 mils and I've used it a few times. I did I did have a little pot as well, which I've been using my way through. And now I'm on just onto the big pot. Um, but it's just so nice. It's so rich and creamy. It makes you feel like you're having a really um good conditioning treatment. And goodness knows my face could use it. Okay, so there's that one. And my favourite eye product at the moment is this. Okay, which is Prey Prior Beauty Ageless Eye Tie Uplift Serum. I absolutely love it. It makes your under eyes tingle when you put it on. So it makes me feel like it's working. It really does. I don't know whether it's all psychological, but it absolutely makes me feel like it's working. I don't use this every single day. I'm sort of interspersing it with other ones that I'm not so keen on. I don't know if that's a good thing or whether I should just work my way through the one tube and then move on to something else. But I really, really love this. Would definitely buy that again. That, although I didn't buy it, buy it in the first place because I just got it sort of in a box. Um, I'm not sure who from. That might have been a Marks and Spencers one, you know. Yeah, I'm almost certain it were in the Marks and Spencers beauty advent calendar. So I'd definitely have a look in Marks's, see how much it is and buy myself that one again. That is my preferred under eye cream of all the creams that I've ever tried. And certainly up to this point. So love it, absolutely love that one. It's just such a nice little um, under eye cream. You know, it's a nice little tube. It looks pretty with its purple and pink. And I just like it. It makes me under eyes tingle, which makes me feel like it's doing something for them, you know. Um, I mean, I ain't ever gonna look 20 again. But I do like things that make me feel a little bit better about what, you know, my face. So, and that's one of them. Okie dokie. Now, I've got loads and loads of like lip sill type things um, that I've been, yeah, I've got in beauty advent calendars. Uh, and my favourite, although I can't for the life in me find it, I think it must be in my locker at work. One of my favourites is this um, Factor 30 thing that I got in a Marks and Spencer's Beauty Advent Calendar. I imagine that one is not so pricey as this one I'm going to show you. But this one is supposed to be worth 58 quid, I'm almost certain, right? This also came in a beauty subscription box. It's another Avant one. This is Hyaluronic Cocoa. Uh, Shea Butter or Cofferol, whatever it's called, right? And Argan, it's so nice. It really is super nice. Um, between the two of them, they've helped like fix the cuts at the side of my mouth. So although I've used the Factor 30 sort of proper type lip seal type thing, um, more than I've used this, but I like both of them equally. 
So I don't suppose this is worth the money when I think about it, but I do like it. I won't go out and buy this again, right? I won't. But um, I am very happy that I've got it and would highly recommend it. If you've got spare money, you know, to spend on yourself and you like lip seals and um, things to moisturise your lips, lip balms, that's it, would recommend it. Um, for £58, no, I'm not going to buy it again. But that other one that I got that I really wanted to show you, but like I say, I think it's in my locker at work. Um, I will get that one again because it's really good. I just think I should have a lip seal in my bag at all times, you know, and then at least it's going to um, stop me getting these cuts at the side of my mouth. So, yeah, so that's that one. Right, on to some stuff that's a little bit, some of them are a, a little bit less in price. Okay, I've just been fairly lucky that I've got quite a lot of advent calendars and beauty subscription boxes this year. Hence why I've got these quite pricey things. Right. On to some stuff that is not quite so pricey. I absolutely love this. Okay. This is from Primark and it cost me £2.50. It's the perfect finish foundation. Now, when I first got it, I wasn't entirely sure about it. I really wasn't. Um, I thought it was a bit heavy coverage for me. But I've worked out how to use it, right? Okay. And I absolutely love it. I don't have it on today. Like I say, I don't have any foundation on today. Um, but... I absolutely love this. When I'm doing a full face of makeup, this is my go-to. And I have got some other ones, some other foundations. But you can get this. You can pick up the exact colour for you for a low price and then not worry that it's not going to be, you know, like match your face all year. I got mine in vanilla 04. Okay, so that's the colour I use. Looks a bit light in the tube, but it actually matches me really well. So I love it. Absolutely love this. I mean, I've tried expensive um, foundations, but honestly, I really like this. Really rate it. So that's my favourite foundation of 2022. Okie dokie. Another product that I've used absolutely to death for the past three years is this. Okay, so when your roots are coming through, and when you've got white roots like me, I want something that I can spray on and cover my roots so I can get back to the hairdresser. So I buy this L'Oreal Magic Retouch. It's about six or seven quid for a tin, but it lasts ages and ages, up to 25 uses. Okay, so you just style your hair as you would, and then you spray it on your roots and it covers your roots. I have had this in every single colour, I'm sure, apart from black, I haven't had black. But I've had it in the dark blonde, the medium brown, the light brown, the dark brown. Okay. Um, absolutely love it. it I, this was what saw me through all the first sort of waves of lockdown and everything when I couldn't get my hair done. I just used this to death. Okay. And I absolutely love it. I've worked out now that if I put a piece of paper where my parting is, it covers the actual line of my head. I spray it on and then move the piece of paper to the other side and spray it on the other side so I don't end up colouring my actual parting. I am just colouring my hair. But then it stays on. You know, once you finish sort of drying, styling your hair, you put this on, then it will cover your roots really well. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Love it to bits. Would highly recommend. I've tried cheaper brands of it, but I find they can't continue to wipe off. Whereas this, once it's set on your hair, it stays on until the next time you wash your hair. So love it. And you don't need to do all your roots. You just need to do kind of where your parting is. It's a quick fix that covers up um, your roots, when you, particularly when you've got white roots. It's got loads of different colours. I don't know if you can see that. Loads and loads of different colours. So super happy with that one. I will always have a tin of this in now always have a tin because it just rescues me air when i am worried about my roots you know so there's that one right here on to a couple of nail varnishes that i've got that i absolutely love right this ted baker one this isn't what i've got on here it's got it on my toenails so this goes on i got this in the ted baker beauty advent calendar this goes on and sets super quickly and stays for ages. I find that on your toenails, sometimes we're wearing socks and filled in shoes at work. It sort of rubs away your nail varnish. Not this. This has been on since I put it on. 
and it's growing off my toenails. Do you know what I mean? It's not actually wearing off or chipping off. It is, in fact, growing off my toenails. So I love that. Um, I'm considering getting the another one in a different colour for sort of when it gets on to the spring and summer. I'm happy to have the red, but I am considering getting another one at some point in the future. I love the packaging and the brush on it is grey. It's not too small. So I absolutely love that one. Really, really love it. And then another one that I've got, another nail varnish, which will be an honourable mention, is this one by Nails Inc. Now, I quite like Nails Inc. But what I don't like is the fact that in all beauty advent calendars, they give you pink. So when I got this one, put it in Marx's beauty advent calendar, in gold, I was super pleased to see it. So when it gets to Christmas, right, next week, I'm going to repaint my to toenails with the red and go over with this gold. It's called Baby It's Gold Outside, right? Okay, it's a cute name. I like it. Um, but I also like the nail varnish. I tried it on one of my toenails and it just went on really pretty. So it's a really nice gold colour. Very, very happy with it. So these are my two favourite nail varnishes that I've tried in 2022. Absolutely love them. Okie dokie. Moving on, I've got um, a brush that I am really, really impressed by. Okay, so it's this one that I got at Primark for a quid. Now, I didn't realise when I actually, you know, were doing that haul, it's got two ends on it. It's the softest little brush. It really is a soft brush. Now, usually I get brushes from Savers and they're like 2 99 something like that. They're single end ones. I do prefer single end ones if I'm if I'm honest about it. Just because they sit in my pot better. Um, but I really, really like this brush. Really rare. Really, it's super soft. Um, feels really nice. Um, the bristles aren't too long, so it's fantastic for blending. I'm going back to get some more of these brushes in different designs. I'm going to give them a proper go going forward because they just feel so nice and so much better than the ones I've been paying $2.99 for. Um, yeah, really, really happy with it. It's not expensive. It's super cheap. I don't feel like I'll be worried about buying sort of an handful of them um, so that I can keep... Because I wash them after every time I've used them. And the problem with that is that frequently they're drying when you go to put your makeup on again. This, I feel like I'll be able to buy myself five of and I'll always have a clean brush. Just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I think Primark's going to be my new go-to place for my little brushes. Because I can't bring myself to spend a fortune on brushes. I literally cannot. So, really super pleased with this one. Then I've got a couple of lippies. Okay. So, this undoubtedly is my favourite one. It's by Urban Decay. Now, I've, in all honesty, I've not gone out and bought lipsticks. Apart from from Primark. Actually gone out and bought lipsticks. I don't think this year. Um, all of these have come in beauty subscription boxes or beauty advent calendars. But I absolutely love this one. I'm going to swatch it for you. Right, it's so nice. It's like a chocolatey brown. I didn't think this was going to be any good for me at all, but I absolutely love it. It's not, it's quite matte, I think. It's not super sheen, um, which means you can put another colour over the top of it. What colour is this in? Accident. Metalised. Right, it's really, really nice. I love it. I love the darkness of it. And if it's too dark, you, like I say, you can always put another uh, colour over the top. But I appreciate these are probably quite pricey to buy as an individual item. But... The other one that I super like are the Revolution Liquid Lips. I got these in the Revolution Beauty Advent Calendar and I absolutely love them. I, I don't tend to go out and choose Revolution lip products very often. That's it there. But these are lovely. They dry down and then they're on your lips for ages. Absolutely ages. So I love it. You know, I probably, you know, I'd struggle to stretch to another one of those. 
Whereas those ones are going to be so much cheaper and actually are really, really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do prefer this one, the Urban Decay one. But the um, the Revolution one is grey. The other one's a little bit too pink for me. But this one, what's it in? Chauffeur, I love. Absolutely love that one. So they're my two favourite lippies. Um, that I've tried this year. I just love them. I love that I've got a chance. That's the great thing about sort of beauty advent calendars and beauty subscription boxes is you do get a chance to try things that you wouldn't normally try. The downside is that after a while, it all becomes a bit much of a muchness. So I am glad I've unsubscribed from everything except my jammer box. But at some, I'm not saying, I'll never say never, right? At some point in the future, I may resubscribe just to be able to get myself some more stuff to try. You know, because it is nice, like I say, to try these. This is almost dry at this side now. But it does dry down, stay really matte and uh, and fixes to your lips, you know. That one I, absol I think is absolutely gorgeous, so I love that. That's more of a going out one. That's more of a daytime look, but I like them both. I really like them both. Right, moving on to my favourite mascara that I've tried this year. I've kept this tube specifically to show you because it's dried up as anything. It's the Lancome Monsure Big. Is that how you even say it? Monsure. I don't know how you say it, but anyway... This is my favourite mascara I think I've ever tried in my life. Absolutely love it. Like I say, mine's a bit dry now. I'm not really using it. I've moved on to the Clinique one that I got in um, in the Marxies Beauty Advent Calendar. But um, this is undoubtedly my favourite mascara. And what I realised about unsubscribing from these beauty um, subscription boxes, for all I got this in a beauty subscription box, I was literally paying 50 quid a month on beauty subscription boxes. At one point, I think I was paying about 70 quid a month. 70 quid is enough to go out and buy the, the things that you absolutely love. So because I love this, I would definitely invest in getting another one of them. It just makes your lashes so long, really, really long and sort of full. You know, I love it, absolutely love it. So kept the tube just to be able to put it into this um, video because I do love it so much. Moving on to palettes. Okay, um, right, so I haven't got a highlighter in this because I haven't tried a highlighter that I like more than stuff I've had in the past. So I'm still using my way through, and is it Illamasqua one? So I'm using that at the moment because there ain't one that I've found this year that's made me go, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Right, so I'm just carrying on using that one. Um, whereas blush, right, this the, this came in a cracks box, also in a beauty subscription box. And this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Blush Quad Palette. I love it. Absolutely love it. So it's got these four pinkish peachy tones. These two are my favourites. Absolutely love those. Although if I want a light look, I go for that. Then if I were going out, out, like I'm going to the pantomime this weekend, I will be using that one. They're just so nice. Really, really love them. So that's the darkest one. And then these two are the two colours that I wear all the time. Those ones. They're just very, very easy to use. They're buildable, but don't go on with absolutely loads. And then that's the light one at the end. I hope you can see those on my veiny hands. Just really like them. They're super easy to build and um, they match my skin tone super well. So that is my favourite um, blush of the year. And I always, always gravitate towards this. I've tried the Revolution one that I got in the Revolution Beauty Advent Calendar, but the colours don't match me as well as this one. I like the sort of neutralness with a little bit of blush in this one. So love it. And then I've actually got three eyeshadow palettes. Okay. The first one I'm going to show you is one that I've had. I got it last year. It's probably out of date, but it doesn't smell, and I'm happy to keep using it. Okay. It's this Rose Metals palette. 
Okay, I might go at the beginning of this year, actually. I absolutely adore this palette. Okay, those are the colours. This one were broken when I got it, because I got it in a beauty subscription box. Um, but there's still enough of it to, for me to use. Can you see? I've used it to death, honestly. Um, I love it. Really, really love it. I think my favourite shades are this one, this one, what are they called? Persian Pink Metallic Rose, 22 Carat, I love that one. And I even really love this Moon Landing one here that's this bluish one. I'm going to swatch them a bit for you. Um, I'll do them on my arm. Okay, so this is the Moon Landing one. Okie dokie. 22 Carat, they're just so nice. Shimmers, that's what they are. It's in, it, They're all shimmers. Everyone in this is a shimmer, but I just love them. Absolutely love them. And then they've got some lighter ones. These are the ones that I use um, as my sort of pop colour. Um, but these ones, this one, that 22 carat is actually a bit darker. But this one and this one, and even the peachy one, which is called Shakudo. Is it? I don't know. But those ones are really good as for your lighter colours to use. Absolutely love that palette. I think I'll always love that palette, you know, just because I love her shimmer. Um, and these ones are just so usable and quite highly pigmented. So super love that one. But then two that I've got this year that I'm really enjoying using. One is this Ted Baker quad, which is in the colour. Has it got a colourway? Well, if it has, I can't see it, can I? But it's this one here. It is the most usable palette in the world. Right, it really is. Absolutely love it. But I get that this is not super cheap, so I've got a cheaper option that I'm going to show you. Right, which I like just as much. I possibly would not have gone out and bought this, but it's so easy to use. I put that over my old lid, put that in my crease, put that shimmer on my lid and that in my inner corner, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You've got a whole eye look for a daytime without any effort at all. It's all done for you. And it absolutely has a, a mirror in the lid, so love it. It's just one of those things that's just so easy to use. But likewise, and much cheaper than that, this I absolutely adore as well. This is an elf quad, which is £4, or it was when I got it anyway. And I love this just as much. These are possibly more pigmented than the others. Um, they're slightly darker, so you've got two mattes, two shimmers in the middle. But they're super easy to use as well. Um, that, obviously, all of me, I that in my crease. And then I choose one of those to go over um, my eyelid. Um, so, yeah, absolutely love these. Really, really love them. They're so nice and very, very pigmented as well. I just think for four quid, you can't knock it, really. I'm putting them these lower down on my arm. Where's the other one? Is that it? That one. Right, so you can see a theme emerging here. So this is the Rose Metals palette, which is quite pricey. This is the Elf Quad. What's the colour I didn't pick up? Do you see what I mean? Right, so that's the Elf Quad. That's the Rose Metals palette. And just for comparison, let's do the Ted Baker. So for my colourways, these are absolutely brilliant. Put them up here for Ted Baker. Do I pick any up there? Okay. These, in fact, are not as pigmented as these from the e.l.f. ones. But what I like about these is for a daytime look, you're not going to end up overloading your eye. These are much more buildable. These I have to be careful with and with these ones. But I love all three of those palettes. Absolutely love them. Yeah, so those are all my favourites from 2022. I've not done one of these videos before. And I don't know how well this is going to go down. But I just wanted to pop on and talk to you about them. And mainly because I would quite like your advice on anything you've tried. So if you've tried some really nice products this year, will you let me know what you like? Particularly because, like I say, while I love some of this skincare, I am unlikely to go out and buy a van 
you know, very unlikely. Um, so if you've tried some really nice skincare that you've really enjoyed, that's more at my sort of price range, you know, somebody just over minimum wage price range, will you let me know, please? Because I'd really appreciate for when I run out. You know, inevitably these things are going to run out. And then what am I going to do? Other than re-subbing to a beauty subscription box, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. The other thing I wanted to tell you what, my eyebrows, um, that is the other favourite thing that I forgot to pick up, which is just the NYX uh, Precise eyebrow pencil but it still doesn't be the be perfect one that i had before um but both of those i've enjoyed anyway so yeah those are all my things like i said please let me know what you like will you <laughs> leave me a list that'll really cheer me up i can start going through them then um and and see whether i get on with them as well but anyway that's everything for today if you've liked this video please give us a like it really helps us out and if you like this kind of content you might want to consider subscribing i've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason but thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me bye